Ghosts are real. That much I know. Loki! Sorry, I had to say that I didn't get to talk to you in that film. So. Okay. Or Tom. You can, you, know, okay. you can call me Tom. That's okay. We can do that. All right. Uh, Crimson Peak, were you scared filming this? Uh, I wasn't scared filming it. Um, I was scared reading it, and I was scared watching it. Um, mercifully, in, in, making, in making a scary film, it isn't such a scary experience. Well, the reason I asked that is because I slept with the lights on. Thank you very much. It's crazy because my mom loves these kind of movies. Right. Me, I'm like, Meh. Right, right. Wow. When you learned about the story, what was your reaction? You were like, this is so freaky in so many ways. Yeah, it was like, this is so freaky, so spooky. Um, but I found it really moving. I, it, it's, it's, it, it's, a, it's a, what, like, a, um, there's a marriage of romance and, and horror in this film, I think, which is really unique. And where did you film this? Toronto. And the house was it? Is it a? Is it the big? house is a set. This is a. This is a fully constructed set on a on a big studio in in Toronto. Um, the most beautiful set I've ever seen. This is kind of a different role for you. We're seeing you as a sinister kind of. Was it fun to play that character? I thought it was going to be loads of fun. I thought you know everyone always say these kind of roles are fun, and we were halfway through when I turned to Guillermo and, and Tom, and I was like, I don't understand. Everyone says these parts are the most fun, but I'm not having any fun. <laughs> and, and Tom said, it's only fun when your character's having fun. And Lucille's not the kind of woman that you don't see a big, broad smile on her face. Well, she's in a lot of pain, and I underestimated how dark the character was. Guillermo del Toro is awesome. Isn't I, he? What was that like? Tell me about that experience. Oh, he's just wonderful. This is the second film I've worked with him on. I think he's one of the most wonderful human beings I've ever met. He is intelligent and very creative and funny and generous. And when you see his films, you know, you're really in the imagination of this man. And he has such compassion for his monsters, which I love. 